Have you seen the YouTube video that shows an attractive young woman being harassed by men in the streets of New York City? Well, it's attracted more than 33 million views so far. And some say stopping the verbal harassment of women in the street is the new frontier for human rights. And they see this video as a critical tool for raising awareness. Could they be right? That's coming up next on The Factual Feminist. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. Street harassment can be very annoying. And it is possible that the video will do some good as a reminder to men that women often don't appreciate it. But the feminist anti-harassment group that put out this video, Hollaback, it does not merely want to improve public manners. It wants to raise consciousness about what life is like for women under patriarchy. And according to this group, street harassment is a, quote, power dynamic that silences women's voices and reminds them of their subordinate status. Its website calls street harassment the most pervasive form of gender-based violence. Well, let's check some facts. The viral video ad was created by an agency that specializes in creating viral video ads. <laughs> it's riveting a bit of advertising, but it forces the complicated issue of street interaction into a simplistic Oppression 101 victimology morality tale. It's propaganda, not evidence of a crime against womankind. The video gives the impression that the woman is relentlessly targeted. But we only see highlights from a 10-hour shoot. We have no idea what happened during the other 9 hours and 58 minutes. Viewers are led to believe that the harassment took place all over the city. But writers at the website Mass Appeal took a careful look, and they were able to determine that most of the footage, about 80%, is from one street in Harlem and Times Square. Now, if the ad makers would manipulate our perceptions about where the harassment took place, what else might they manipulate? Now, I'm not faulting them. It's an ad after all. But here is a second and more serious problem. The video overrides critical distinctions. I mean, unsolicited attention from strangers, it, it ranges from friendly comments to annoying jeers to stalking. Now, why conflate these? Street interactions are complicated, and context matters. Is it night or is it day? What's the neighborhood? Some women might feel flattered or delighted by comments like, good morning, beautiful, <laughs> while others would be put off. Amanda Hess argued that comments from a male stranger like, how are you this morning, are just another unearned claim on women's attention. Well, anyone who's ever walked a city knows that there are many annoying, unearned claims to your attention. I mean, if we deserve to be protected from comments, then what about panhandlers or evangelists with pamphlets or Greenpeace volunteers with clipboards? I mean, I love the environment, but I don't like being shamed for not stopping when they say, do you have a moment for the environment? Personally, I prefer that a man whistled at me than have to respond to that. <laughs> Urban streets are free spaces. They're not gated communities with a rigid set of bylaws. And the First Amendment applies as well. Now, according to Hollaback's mission statement, the group is hoping to find a way to inspire legislators and police to take action. They're vague about what precise actions they have in mind. But the Northwestern professor, Laura Beth Nielsen, is not vague at all. She wants a law prohibiting uninvited harassing speech or actions targeted towards individuals in public spaces on the basis of sex because she says it would weigh in on the side of equality. Equality? Is she serious? I mean, harassment can happen anywhere, but it's far more common in economically deprived neighborhoods. And as several critics of this video have noted, such a law could cause poor men, especially Latino, African-American, working class white men, it could cause them to be targeted by the police. Now, there are a lot of men who jeer at women near my place of work in downtown Washington, D.C. And these men sit in the park on benches and they make comments to almost any woman who walks by. Now, Hollaback suggests that women should document the harassment with their smartphones, post it on the web, perhaps summon the police. And as they say, protecting women from such intrusive men is the new frontier in human rights. Well, reality check. The women in this park, well, they're mostly professionals in Manola Blahniks who work in nearby law firms or government offices. The harassing men, they're homeless. They sleep outside on building stoops. I don't think it's the cat callers who need to check their privilege. I think it's the women at Hollaback who need to check their facts. Well, ladies, 
Do you want laws that stop harassing speech at the cost of free speech? Let us know in the comments. Please share this video and subscribe to be notified when the next one is posted. And follow me for more conversations on Twitter. And thank you for watching The Factual Feminist.